Abigail Urban. And I'm Delcina Sawyer. And this is the Marian Catholic News. For the third week of January 2023. Hello Spartans. Believe it or not, this is the first full week of school for the year. We opened with several weeks that had half days and holidays, but now it's time to settle in for the second half of the year. Marian Catholic is still looking for some parent volunteers for lunchroom supervision. The hours are from 10.50 until 12.50, Monday through Friday. If you would like to volunteer or know someone who would, please contact Bonnie Pressler at bpressler at marionchs.com. Seniors, we are in our final semester here at Marion, and I know you are ready to get out. We do, however, still have several months to go. But on the bright side, before you know it, we'll be going to prom and walking across that stage to receive those diplomas. So get that homework done and finish up those assignments. We want to see all of you on that stage. Seniors, there are still a large number of unclaimed scholarship opportunities available for you. Check in with your college counselor to see what is available for you. Marion students have currently received over $20 million in awarded scholarships this year, so don't miss out on money that will make paying for college easier. Students, there is still a chance to sign up for the next Spirit Night. We will be going to Urban Air in Mokina and then to dinner at Jimmy O's in Frankfurt. Cost is $55 and includes transportation and the dinner is all you can eat, pizza and pasta. Any questions, see Ms. Keller or Mr. Lechek. Nominations are still open for honor students and staff living out the Marian Mission for the months of December and January. If you know of student or faculty members who you would like to nominate, get your nomination in before Wednesday, February 1st. And now let's head over to weather and sports. Thanks, Abby. Winter is here and snow could be right behind it. Over the next week, we have several chances to get some snow. Temps will also be in the normal range over the next week with highs in the low 30s and lows down into the teens. Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday bring the greatest chances of snow with total accumulations from three to six inches over that time. So if you like to build snowmen, this could be your best chance so far. Now let's check in on sports. Winter sports run full swing. Both the men's and women's basketball teams are having great seasons. So ask yourself, why haven't you come out to watch? This past Saturday, the fencing team put in a great performance at the Great Lakes JV Championships. Nathan Brandon took home his second first place of the year in Epe, while Elijah Wagner captured second place in the men's saber, and Trinity Cowles earned a third place in women's Epe. Our cheerleading team held the Marion Invite this past Sunday and came out with a second place ranking. Back to you, Abby. Woo! Delcina, who are you cheering for? I'm so Celebrating. Celebrating what? You're a senior. That means you're graduating soon. And that means this place is going to be mine. Woo! <laughs> okay. And I'm Abigail Urban. And I'm Delcina Sawyer, soon to be your new head broadcaster. <laughs> this is the very Catholic news. Of the third week of January 2023. See you next time. <laughs>